Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban msikilizaji hujambo na karibu kwenye habari zetu za Borana Global Media awamu huwa sasa lakini kwanza hii hapa muktasari wake jamii za wafugaji isiyo na samburu za ndam safara wakazi walodwa walalamikia joto kali mkataba wa usambazaji wa umeme tanariva umetiwa saini Tupati habari hizo na zingine kwa ukamilifu langu jina ni Hadi Jaliban. Na tukianza na taarifa zetu ni kwamba jamii za wafugaji kutoka kaunti ya Isiolo na kaunti ya Samburu wameshiriki kwenye msafara wa kushinikiza amani baina ya jamii zinazoishi kwenye mpaka wa Samburu na Isiolo. Msafara huo unalenga kudumisha amani kati ya jamii hizo mbili ambazo zimekabiliwa na migogoro inayochochewa na wizi wa mifugo. Msafara huo wa amani ulianza kwenye mpaka wa Isiolo na Samburu na kuelekea hadi katika eneo la Sir Libi mwakilishi wa kike wa kaunti ya Samburu Pauline Lenguris akiongoza juhudi hizo za kuhimiza amani. Mpaka sasa kama ngombe saidi ya miambili imerudishwa tunajua bado singine wanaendelea kusanya pia kuna bunduki ambaye jamii wa sehemu pamoja na warani wameweza kurudisha na hiyo ni sign ya kwamba watu wanataka amani. Na commitment ambayo tumeona hapa ni kwamba wasee wamesema wataendelea kurudisha kusakanya zile ngombe ambaye simebaki na tutarejeshea wenyewe. This is our first time kuwa na mandugu zetu wa Turkana wenye tulikuwa kwa maadui wa jadi. So vile leo tumekutana nao tunafurahi juu. Tunajua hapo tayari tumepata amani. Kuna umuhimu wa kufanya mipango kama hizi kwingine na maeneo zingine ambayo bado hazijafikiwa kwa sababu itatuleta pamoja. Ili kupunguza mikwaruzano katika jamii, mashirika yasiyokuwa ya kiserikali yameshirikiana na wafadhili mbalimbali kuanzisha miradi ya maji kwa kutimba visima katika maeneo ya malisho mwa jamii zote mbili. Chanzo chake imekuwa mabadiliko ya hali ya hanga yenye imefanya watu waanze kuhama kama mojawapo njia ya kutafuta lishe kwa wanyama na maji na wanajipata wameenda sana mpaka katika boundaries ya kaunti zingine ushirika kama la Oxfam uh, tunajali jamii tunahakikisha kwamba sisi jamii nzima imeishi kwa amani jamii nzima imepata kuendelea na tumepunguza umaskini kuhakikisha kwamba kila mtu angalau yuko sehemu fulani. Aidha wakazi hao wameitaka serikali na mashirika mengine kuandaa shughuli sawia mara kwa mara ili kukuza uhusiano mwema na kumaliza migogoro inayoibuka. Na tukisonga mbele ni kwamba wakazi walodwa na viunga vyake wanalalimikia joto jingi ambalo limewasababisha kushindwa kuendeleza shughuli zao mchana na kuwalazimisha kulala nje usiku. Idara ya utabiri wa hali ya anga imekiri kuwa eneo hilo linakabiliwa na ongezeko la nyuzi joto zisizo za waida joto katika eneo hilo upanda hadi nyuzi joto 42 kwa kipindi cha mwezi mmoja sasa hali si hali turkana mchana vipimo vya nyusi vya joto hupita 40 kila siku kweli jua imekuwa kali hata mimi nashangaa kweli jua imekuwaaje ime, tangu jua ilikuwa mzuri sasa jua imekuwa kali kabisa sasa kwa siku mimi ninaweza kunya karibu lita kumi. kwa siku na, 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 na siku ijeisha idara ya utabiri wa hali ya anga hata hivyo imesema hali hiyo itashuhudiwa kwa muda mfupi tu kisha hali ya kawaida ireje i do urge my community people those who are looking after uh, the livestock they carry water and they stay under the shade so that uh, they cannot be affected by uh, these high temperatures that are happening in our county saizi hata watoto wa kwenda shule wale wanacheza wakisahau viatu hapo shida anakuja blisters kwa mguu stress stress kwa wazazi imekuwa mingi kabisa na tukiachana na hayo ni kwamba gavana wa kaunti ya Tanariva Dado Godana amehimiza serikali kuu kusaidia kaunti yake kuwekeza katika miundo mbinu ili kusaidia Tanariva kunufaika kutokana na mradi wa Lapset akizungumza alipotia saini mkataba kati ya serikali yake na shirika la kusambaza umeme mashinani Rerek Godana alisema kaunti yake inahitaji zaidi when your neighbor has electricity and you don't have then you feel it you know a road can be there you don't have a motor vehicle and you say well i don't have a motor vehicle and therefore you don't care about the road the tamaking and all that but electricity is personal it touches lives personally i am aware your excellency uh, that we are you are putting 15 million shillings uh, for this financial year and the uh, relic will be able to match another 15 million shillings so we'll have a total of 30 million shillings with you and what is going to happen then we shall sit together our technical team and your technical team and we shall agree 
on which projects we are going to do. Na tukisonga mbele ni kwamba mpango wa lishe shuleni katika kaunti ya Wajia umeandikisha ufanisi mkubwa haswa baada ya idadi kubwa ya watoto kuripotiwa kuenda shuleni. Mpango huo unaoendeshwa na baraza la taifa la elimu ya kuhamahama kwa ushirikiano na wizara ya elimu kwa sasa unaofaidi wanafunzi zaidi ya laki moja elfu thelathini. Akizungumza katika shule moja Wajia alipokuwa akiongoza shughuli ya kukagua na kutadhmini mpango huo naibu kamishna wa kaunti ndogo ya Wajia East Said Abdalla alidokeza mpango inayofanywa ili kuzifikia shule zaidi katika kaunti nzima ya Wajia We are having almost 130,000 uh, pupils being fed in, uh, in our primary schools and over 30,000 uh, were being fed in our secondary schools You see the, the way of nutrition the health of learners has really improved a lot and we appreciate and not only through the ministry of education because these are terminus uh, that handles uh, a part of the ministry of education and their work is to deliver food to the schools this has he- really helped in terms of retention and also access uh, through the ministry of education and uh, we are happy even uh, including part of uh, early uh, next term we still have some food in our stores that can keep us going until we receive the next consignment children were enjoying the meal especially the rice and beans mixed as well as the ready to drink porridge that was one way of making sure children are motivated na tukitamatisha ni kwamba kero ya ndovu katika kijiji cha Mtunye eneo bunge la Buri kaunti ya Meru imesababisha wakazi kuasi ukulima na kuhamia maeneo mengine kwa miaka mingi hata hivyo wakazi sasa wameanza kurejea kwao na kuendeleza kilimo baada ya ukuta wa umeme kujengwa ili kuzuia ndovu kuvamia makazi ya watu imekuwa na changamoto kubwa sana ni kwa sababu ile hii kama mnavyoiona eneo hili lote limekuwa watu wajalima wamehama wameenda kule karibu na ni kwa sababu ya usumbufu wa ndofu ndofu ndizo zimekuwa kero sana na hapo mbeleni tukafikiria kuweka mawe tukaweka ukuta wa mawe na ikaonekana kwa ndofu hiyo ni kazi bure sana na ndofu zikavuja na zikaingia kupitia ushirikiano kati ya wakazi na shirika la huduma za wanyamapori la lewa wameweza kujenga ua la nyaya za umeme ili kuwazuia ndofu ni uo ulio garimu takriban shilingi milioni moja kutokana na mapato ya mbio za nyika za lewa mwaka jana hapo ndipo naitimisha habari zetu za Borana Global Media Nimekuwa msomaji wako hadi Jaliban zidi kuwa nasi